Hi guys! Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, kung nasan man kayo. I'm sharing this new vlog with you and I'm sure magustuhan nyo ang topic and this time it's about midlife crisis. Nandito ako ngayon sa uh, website ng nurspatiems.com and sabi nila, aging is a process that can sometimes feel uncomfortable while we go through profound abrupt changes throughout our lives. A midlife crisis isn't a psychological disorder per se, but it's it's still an uncomfortable period of transition between 40 and 55, although there is some variability in the timing of midlife crisis. Men and women experience midlife crisis somewhat differently, and this is according to uh, Dr. W. Nate Upshaw, MD. Okay, to start with, gusto ko manang i-share sa inyo yung uh, napag-usapan namin ng isang friend ko earlier. Sabi niya, uh, she's feeling low. And ang una kong tanong doon is, uh, is it about love? Is it about life? Then sabi niya sa akin, both daw. And uh, sabi ko naman sa kanya, uh, joke lang to ha, itong, itong, ano, just to lighten the mood, sa, tinanong ko sa kanya, magagamot ba yan ng paraffin? Ay, it's like a, a, a coined word ng pera and then therapy. Kasi minsan, there are some problems na kaya natin cure or gamutin ng ng pera, yung pala problem, uh, problema pala natin is pera. Pero, uh, so nagtawa na lang kami, although pinag-usapan pa namin yung iba, pero sa ngayon, uh, gusto ko sa inyong i-discuss itong midlife crisis at ano ang kaiba nito sa depression. So sabi nila, ang midlife crisis daw, eto ang mga symptoms, uh, applicable to both sa babae at lalaki. Number one, you feel unfulfilled in life. So parang ang dami pang kulang pero kalahati ka na ng buhay mo. Then there's an intense feeling of nostalgia, chronic reminiscence about the past. Um, kasi iniisip mo parang mas maganda yung buhay mo when you were younger, when you were uh, sa family mo pa. Number three, feeling of boredom, emptiness, and meaninglessness. So, parang walang nangyayari sa buhay mo. Parang you feel so empty. Number uh, four is impulsive and often rash actions. So, impulsive. Alam natin ito yung uh, mabigla ang mga decisions. Uh, next is dramatic changes in behavior and appearance. Next is marital infidelity or constant thoughts about infidelity. Kung nasa relationship ka man, parang gusto mo umalis, maging single uli, or hindi mo alam po ano talaga gusto mo. And isa pa is comparing oneself to other who seem happier or more fulfilled. Uh, particular to sa, sa social media ngayon, na parang ang daming mga ano, ang daming nagpo-post ng masaya and nakakaingit and... Uh, yung isang huli dito na ano uh, symptom ng midlife crisis ay intense feelings of regret so madami kang mga pinagsisigyan sa buhay before I go to the, the other details ng, at, ng symptoms ng midlife crisis uh, gusto kong i-share din sa inyo na uh, sa akin personally while growing up, wala akong nag, hindi ako nagkaroon ng crisis ng tawag dito, ng, ng feeling na I don't belong to anything. Wala akong mga ganung pakiramdam. Pero it's different now. Kasi ang ang kaibahan noon at ngayon is uh dahil nung wala pang pandemic, uh, I always have a house, uh, a home that I can go to. Halimbawa, uh, I had a, a frustrations. I have, uh, 
I, I'm broken hearted, mga ganon. Um, masama, basta masama pakiramdam ko. Ginagawa ko lang nun, sasakay lang ako ng bus, sasakay ako ng plane, uuwi ako sa amin. And uh, I'm happy na I have that uh, feeling na pag umuwi ako sa, sa amin, sa probinsya, uh, para siyang oasis, para akong... Uh, nawawala lahat ng mga kailangang isipin then I can go back to Manila and parang okay na uli lahat I can go back to kung saan man ako pupunta then everything's okay ganun ang feeling ko pag nakaka-uwi ako sa amin pero ngayon it's difficult kasi uh, hindi nga ako nakaka I remember, I think sometime in 2019 I had this uh, very intense emotion towards someone na I felt uh, so so bad I felt so ugly I felt so uh, low kasi hindi niya ako pinapahalagahan parang parang I'm, I'm nothing and then uh, ginawa ko nun parang ano ako nag impulse buying ako sabi ko, I want to look good, I want to feel good. Pero yun pala is just to show na, na I'm okay, pero hindi pala ako okay. So sabi ng friend ko, um, kailan dumayo ako? So that's what I did. Dumayo ako para, sabi nga nila, when you're a climber, mas makikita mo pag malayo ka dun sa bundok. And that's what we are. We're we're like climbers to, to our goals, our dreams, whatever those dreams are. And then, uh, dumating itong pandemic, ang mahirap naman na nangyayari is, um, hindi ako makauwi, hindi rin ako makabiyahe. And all I have to do is take all the pain, all the depression, all the frustrations in life by myself. Especially na I live alone. So, tinatry ko as much as possible na I, I talk to friends, I talk to family, pero iba pa rin yung, ano, yung feeling na na naiyakap mo sila at nandun ka sa kanila. And then, uh, I also had this feeling na it's, it's sad, sad that I'm into a very not so good relationship na parang basta, ang hirap explain um, so it just to cut the story short it ends up in something na I'd rather not ask anything if we're okay if kami pa, if saan kami patungo kasi minsan, ano, mahirap na rin mag plan ng mahaba kasi uh, with what's happening now parang ang hirap mag plano ng matagal kasi we never know what's gonna happen tomorrow hindi natin alam kung kung anong mangyayari if, are, are we still okay wala na ba tayo or basta ang gulo then binabasa ko tong ano itong signs ng depression and midlife crisis so sinasabi dito um, nagkakaroon daw ng mga changes in sleeping habits minsan insomnia or minsan naman you sleep too much Nagkakaroon ng changes sa appetite, intense, often deliberating feeling of sadness, feelings of guilt and worthlessness, lack of interest or enjoyment in previously fun activities. Dati masaya ka tapos hindi na. Ang tawag doon daw is anhedonia. And then there are changes in body weight. So it's either you, you gain or you lose weight. Then you also have uh, this loss of interest in sex. Uh, there is uh, withdrawal from social interactions. 
um, there is this level, elevated levels of anxiety, fear, and worry. Nagkakaroon din ng irritability and anger, uh, tearfulness and uncontrolled emotions, thoughts of death or self-harm, and aches and pains without identifiable cause, including muscle pain, digestive problems, and headaches. So, ang dami, ang daming mga signs na kung bibilangin ko ilang ba ang nangyari sa akin, marami-rami. Then, next is how do we deal with midlife crisis symptoms? So, sabi dito ni uh, ng nurse pa, si Dr. Uh, w. Nate Upshaw. And sana nandyan pa kayo at nakikinig dito sa aking sinasabi. Uh, to deal with midlife crisis, number one, make no hasty decisions. So, huwag kang gagawa ng mga malalaking decisions sa buhay. Uh, status ko na lang muna, wala mo ng malaking desisyon na kailangan gawin. And number two, talk to someone. Uh, because midlife crisis, often uh, you feel lonely and isolated. So find someone you can open up to. And if you don't have anyone, you feel like there's no one to trust, seek a professional help. Then, uh, next is touch base with reality. Uh, remember that your emotions are necess not necessarily grounded in reality. Emotions are real. They may be based on an incorrect interpretation of things. Get some objective about objective input about your situation. So, ibig lang sabihin nun, uh, yung feeling mo, kung ano man yung nakandaman mo, Think of it as uh, something na, na valid. Na walang masama kung nararamdaman mo kung ano man yung nararamdaman mo. Kasi totoo yun. Uh, sabi nga nito sa huli, get some objective input. So this objective in input can be coming from uh, a psychologist or a friend or sino mang counselor na nakakausap mo. Probably a priest or anyone. Then next is... Be kind. Be kind to yourself and to others. If you've given thought of dissolving or changing a big relationship and decided after reflection you want to do that, proceed with kindness. If you're quitting your job to go back to school, consider the proper way to break the news to the family and loved ones. But no matter what you decide, remember that you're always part of the tapestry of connection. So, be kind to yourself and to others. And also, if you made wrong decisions, forgive yourself. Patawarin niya sa rili mo. Then, how do we treat uh, depression with no side effects? So, basahin ko na rin yung, ano, yung sinasabi na dito. It's called TMS. TMS is transcranial magnetic stimulation. Sabi nila, this is a non-evasive treatment for multiple mental health disorders. Uh, so, walang i-inject sa'yo, walang operation na mangyayari. Nagkakaroon lang dito ng uh, targeted magnetic pulses to stimulate the areas of the brain that affect the mood, which helps you get back to the best of your life quickly with no side effects. Um, hindi ko pinopromote yun, pero uh, if you decide to go to that uh, kind of thing of course you contact uh, an expert a doctor or uh, mama ililink ko dito sa ano sa sa video na to yung website para makita makita rin ninyo but what i'm uh, just trying to say all in all in this uh, vlog is that um, there will come a time na sabi ko nga kanina sa umpisa nitong vlog um, as growing up, hindi ako naka-experience ng anumang uh, depression, anumang anxiety, anumang crisis. Pero nung dumadating na pala ako to a certain age, dun ko naramdaman. And um, what's sad is, yung dating formula na ginagawa ko na uwi ng bahay is 
is not doable sa ngayon. Anyhow, uh, good thing there are uh, still um, good people that I could talk to. Friends, madami akong friends na psychologists. And uh, meron din nagpapasaya sa akin. Uh, although hindi siguro, relationship siguro is... Uh, is not a perfect thing. Sometimes you take it slow. Sometimes uh, it's not the way you expect it to be. Pero just go on with life and uh, be happy. Enjoy what you have right now. Kasi sabi ko nga din kanina, we do not know what's gonna happen in the next days. Kung... Uh, makaka-encounter ba tayo ng karamdaman or what have you so just go on with life, enjoy seize the moment maging masaya lang tayo and finally gusto kong i-end ang topic na to with a happy note and that is uh, soon next week magkakaroon na ulit tayo ng 5th 5th, 5th a cellphone ay the giveaways. Ilalagay ko yung instruction dito sa baba nitong video na ng video na to sa description. Tapos nandoon yung instruction ko ano yung gagawin para uh, makasali sa uh, raffle draw ng fifth cellphone ay the giveaways. Uh, maraming salamat sa pakikinig sa, sa akin, sa kwento ko and salamat lagi sa inyong suporta. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, Victor Penalosa and sa aking Facebook page na Victor Penalosa FB If you have questions, suggestions feel free to put it in your comments and um, don't forget as well to hit the notification bells para pag meron mga updates or what what have you madali kayong ma-notify. I go live every Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays around 10pm uh, talk to you then so madami tayong pwedeng pag-usapan pa and I hope I get to know you more and enjoy natin ang buhay kahit magkakalayo tayo kahit hindi tayo magkikita and whatever it is that you're experiencing now, experiencing now, be happy. Bye-bye.